Welcome back, gainers, to another super crazy exciting episode of... Comic, get your gains. Welcome back, gainers, to another exciting episode of... Comic Games! If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is the Princess Her Royal Highness, looking very lovely today, just as usual. And there's the Coco, so make sure, as you want to, bow down. All right, guys, and so respect. you made it to the end of the week, and today is Saturday for you, but it's actually Wednesday for us. And uh, we just got back from the comic book store, so we're going to share with you guys our comic book pickups from November 3rd. So actually, uh, really good week, really good week. There's a bunch of really cool books. A ton of new books came out this week, like brand new number ones. I was a little unsure on which ones to go with. I know Princess picked up a couple new ones she wanted to read, and Zach picked up a couple number ones. I think I got a couple, so a few of them, but you have to let us know what you guys picked out of those number ones that you thought were good reads. So maybe we can jump on that too. But cool episode for you today, guys. We got the new comic books, and we do have a surprise CGC reveal. Some One book. Um, yeah, so uh, this is from our earlier submission. We had one Silver Age book that took, like, I don't know where it was going. It took forever. This one's from the very first one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like so, six months ago? Yeah, so it's going to be modern, like Silver Age, older, art, and uh, magazines are going to take the longest. From this to this. So moderns are going to come back to you fastest. Silver Age is going to come back second fastest, but it's going to be real slow. And then Golden Age and... Magazines, magazines are gonna take the longest. Yeah, this is a with. big DC key too, like a big DC key. So it's really, really exciting. Zach wanted to make sure we open it. And as usual on Saturday, we got a brand new spec for you. Uh, Zach actually found an awesome book. So a lot of people don't know about this book, and uh, it's not even on Key Collector. So really, really cool, brand new spec from the Gaines family. Um, what else really cool thing should we do today, Zach? Well, we gotta open a beer. I'm actually taking a slight hiatus couple of days off here there so i'm really fiending for this i've been getting the headaches and all that so so this is gonna hit me that hasn't right. drinking in three days if you guys can believe that it's a miracle yeah it's a christmas first time miracle. drinking in three days Woo! okay yes once it hits you and you picked the 805 the 805 well, you tell what you got we got the 805 from firestone walker brewing company guys it's a three dollar beer <laughs> It's a it's a great beer, guys. It's crazy how delicious it is for how cheap it is. Is it 9.2? 8.2? 24 ounce? It's 4.7 percent alcohol, 24 fluent ounces. And as you guys well know, somewhere in there is 0.2, and as you well know, 0.2 is the best part. Mm -hmm. So cheers, guys. Mm-hmm. For some reason it always reminds me of like it says like Firestone reminds me of like a tire. This is a great beer to put like a little bit of jalapenos. That sounds good. Oh my it does god! Sound good. All right, guys, let's get back into the to maneuver. All right, first up, in no particular order here. Um, looks like we we I did pick up or uh, we picked up. We got Strange Academy presents. Uh, this is the Death of Doctor Strange number one. So it's a spinoff of the Strange Academy and the Death of Doctor Strange. I haven't read any of the De Death of Doctor Strange so far, but I am reading Strange Academy. So it figured. Might as well get a spin-off on it. Hopefully it's not more than like one book or two books. I don't want a whole new series going on. Yeah, and at the same time, you know, that's just a money grab. Yeah. To be honest. He, Dr. Strange sucked into the gonna, money grab. Yeah, Dr. Strange. He's going to die, and then he's going to come back maybe with different powers. And maybe maybe comes back as a woman, because that's a lot of, that's a big thing. Or maybe they'll just leave Magic as uh, Dr. Strange for a little while. They could. Is that who took over Dr. Strange? Magic. Okay. All right. Uh, it will be a problem. Next up, we got... Star Wars so, so, Bounty so, so, Hunter uh, Bounty Hunter War ugh. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. This is the Star Wars 18 issue. Beautiful cover. You got Leia, Kiara. This is cover A. Uh, actually, I don't usually like too many of the Star Wars covers, but this one I really like. It's really, really good. As you guys know, the Gaines family specking on Kiara hard, so right. I think she's an awesome character. And you guys can still find them for like five dollars or less. They're selling all over eBay the last time we checked. For twenty twenty five dollars, we found multiple copies. Oh, that for solo, $5. the solo one. Yeah, yeah, solo adapt adaptation, adaptation. Yeah. All right, um, find it. got some Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, um, number seventeen. This is the Bounty Hunter series, number seventeen. 
So uh, it goes along with my reading that. I'm getting sucked in, guys. I don't know. I'm, the story's good. It's just so many books. You gotta buy so many books. I can't do it. I'm I... hoping that it pays off somewhere down the road where some of these first appearances turn into something good. You know, I don't know how many times you can read it. And uh, what do you got here, Zach? We got The Heathens number one. So I haven't read this yet. It has a very nice little concept that could make it into a movie or TV show. Probably a TV show. It's about this one thing that escapes from hell. And then they take these people from the past. I think evil people. Or mostly evil people. I can't remember. And they let them out of hell to try to track this thing down. That so, sounds cool. And it's a comic by Aftershock, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, what I was going to say is indies right now, indies are going to be the next hot thing for movies to be made. So, they're going to try to fight any new series that sounds really cool mm -hmm. like that and probably make it into a tv show or movie because they already got a story written there what's there's all you have to find is a cast the story is like really 60 70 percent of the battles then you have to get the cast very true very yeah. true good spec there zach all right uh next up uh we got good new example. burn uh yes. this is new burn number one it's a chip Zdarsky story from image comics uh i thought it looked like a cool it's kind of like a noir detective sort of uh, theme for it. it looks like a cool book to read. It also it also says uh, Zadarsky's it's already been optioned for a TV show, but it hasn't been confirmed on that, so we'll see. But I'm excited to read that number one, see if it's anything good. I like Chip Zadarsky's writing a lot, so he's yeah. a really good guy. All right, next up, uh, we picked up Amazing Fantasy number four. This is the fourth book in the five run series, dude. Awesome cover on that with Storm riding mm -hmm. that big uh, horse there with with the shield. I'm, I'm loving this story a lot. If you guys haven't picked up Amazing Fantasy, I don't know if it has any good spec with it because there hasn't really been any new characters uh, in it, but it's a really cool original story. And I believe this is a Frank Frazetta homage cover. Uh -huh. I could be wrong. And if I'm on, comment down below. And if I'm right, tell, tell me what cover it is because I recognize that cover. It looks cool, though. I like that cover a lot. All their covers have been awesome. All right, looks like we got... Uh, Picked up Radiant Black. This is number nine from Image Comics. This is written by Kyle Higgins. I'm like, every time this comes out, it's on my poll list. So just a great story. Looks like a, a really cool cover too, because that's the original main character on the your guys is right there. And then the new main character is on the left. So I, he's been in a coma for a while. So we'll see if he's coming back. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a really cool cover. Um, it's kind of like a whole closing out scene. Do -do -do -do. With like every mm -hmm. single one, like he's mm -hmm. just walking away. Walking away. Does he look back all the time? Like, yeah, I think so. Over his <laughs> All right. And uh, another great story I'm reading. I pick, picked up uh, Dark Hawk number three. Like I said, if you guys haven't been reading this yet, it's a great story. Also written by Kyle Higgins. I'm loving this writer. We actually got to meet him in person. So really cool story. Really, really good. Yeah, he's so upset because he missed his favorite TV show because he had to go to the cemetery. Yeah, it's horrible. Dark Hawk? Yeah. That, he's in a cemetery, right? He's a TV show. No! Well, I think so. Yeah, I think somebody died in the last issue. That was important. And it was his favorite soap opera. All right, and then uh, as usual, we got The Walking Dead Deluxe no, number twenty six. Still continuing. That's not a bad cover. I'm always getting cover B on these. I actually think cover B looks better than cover A. But. Yeah, yeah, it's reimagined. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of cool because if you think about it, it's like this is another artist's chance to like redo that cover. Like the mm -hmm. classic, uh, who was the artist for that whole series? I can't remember that. It's on the one It's here. a cover artist, right? Yeah, it's still the same one. It's the oh, Char so Charlie Adlard. Ad oh. Adlard. He did every single one? Not the original five, I think. Ah. Something like that. That's the guy they fired and took all the money from. <laughs> Didn't he, like, sue him? Yeah, they paid him an undisclosed amount. Um, Five million, at least. All right, we'll save that one for the end. But uh, let's say some books for the princess. Um, she picked up oh, Sheena, wow, Queen of the Jungle, number one. And that's the uh, Rose Beach cover it's cover b i think i think there's a different cover cover a but that cover is fire super fire yeah it's really great i really like that kind of sometimes i don't but a lot of times i do i don't know that didn't make any sense when they, <laughs> when they show the face and what's nice is about it is that to make the face pop out they thicken the lines on the outside of the profile of the character and it really pops out the face it's kind of like when you're a kid and you take like a crayon and you make a really hard line and then you Kind of shaded in. Exactly. You know, yeah. yeah you know that's about exactly. that. And it looks like you're a really good colorist with crayon. <laughs> uh, Princess is reading so, The Me You Love in the Dark. You got issue number four. 
Um, this is Image Comics, uh, written by Scotty Young. Free. I think she's been digging this book quite a bit. So, yeah. really, really cool. And you think Scotty Young's such a great writer, as well as a good artist, but he's even a better writer. Yeah, I read issue one and two. It's, it's fantastic. So, you picked it up too? Yeah, I still need to read three. And of course, now I didn't know four came out. So, mm -hmm. oops. Yep. <laughs> Let's see if Princess Lady borrow it. All right, Princess got the Vampiverse number three, just like the cover on this one. Or are we reading this story? Reading this? Who is it? Is it? It's not Frizen, is it? No. No. Jen Bartel, maybe? Uh -huh. The The eye shading looks kind of similar to Jen Bartel, but I don't know. Princess says no. Nope. No I'm means no. I'm not sure no. what's up with the Vampiverse. He just likes the book. Just Let's, he's got the double swords. Kind All of, right. And then the uh, Princess oh, found this book, a little dirty action. Uh, this is Jennifer Blood uh, from Dynamite number two. This is the cosplay cover variant so i remember seeing this on the pull list is uh got a nice cover what do you think zach uh, i'll pass on this one <laughs> i'm not drunk enough for this <laughs> cool cover and uh princess was able to find a cool book at uh our local store they had it on the rack um Crazy. yeah it's a really awesome store local to us that like anytime they get store exclusives or one per stores they just they put it out cover price they don't uh up anything and Princess found it. And this is something going into her personal collection. You got House of Slaughter, number one, the uh, one per store virgin variant. She bought that for uh, three ninety nine. Good job, Princess. It's going for, as what key collector saying, for 30 bucks. Yeah. So I think she, that's going into her personal collection, though. Hmm. I don't think that would go anywhere. So, uh, yeah, that's the books we picked up this week, guys. Like I said, awesome week. I'm excited to do some reading. So let us know, as usual, what you guys got. Let you think about the books we picked up. And let us know with like all those new number ones from those indies that are coming out. Uh, what you guys think of the books you got? So uh, yeah, we got. Uh, I'm trying to think of some book I missed. Oh, okay. So we want to do the the CGC, or do you want to do your? Uh, hmm, that's spec. good. Let's do your uh, spec first. Okay. All right. So as usual, guys, we like to do a different spec on Saturday, and a lot of times we trade places like who the spec is. So this week is Zach's turn. And he's got a really cool spec. So I don't know if you want to show him the first book and then show him the real spec. So this is the first book. It's the same book, guys. Yeah. But what you realize is this one, you know, it doesn't exist anywhere that you can find for information. So this is a famous Iron Man number one. It's when Doctor Doom dons Iron Man costume and a couple other things. Something to do with re oh, the AI version of Tony Stark. Yeah. But the first appearance of AI Tony Stark. That's supposed to be the mentor to Riri. So this is the one that you can find quite often. That it's a one. John that's Tyler it. Christopher. Yeah. That one that one you can find pretty off. No, I thought that one's pretty easy to find, right? Well, this one's probably gonna be maybe not as easy, but like they're gonna price it for like five dollars, not knowing it's a oh, thirty dollar gotcha, book. Gotcha. So this is the spec. It's like it's covered that doesn't really yell like, oh my god, this is crazy, this has to be rare. This is like oh, another toy variant. Yeah, yeah. I, I, a lot of the toy variants are junk too, so it's kind of cool that that one is. Because I think it prices about ten to fifteen dollars more than the regular cover A that everyone's used to. And I believe the spec went crazy when the new Lego set came out, and there was a character that had like the invisible head that was supposed to look like that. It's kind of like the AI character of that makes uh, sense. yeah Iron Man, which was kind of they it was supposed to go along with possibly like the Riri show, which everyone's specking on that right now. So. Mm. So good spec, Zach. Yeah, yeah. Really good fantastic. spec. So keep an eye out for that, guys. We didn't even know. It was like in an extra box we had. And then when the inf infamous Iron Man book, the regular A one, we found it. And Zach's like, hey, I think there's a matching book to that. A variant cover. We pulled it out. And we're like, okay, there you go. <laughs> we had it. We didn't even know. It's so crazy. keep your eye out for that spec. Great, great spec today. He's like, all right, one last thing before we let you guys go. Let's open the CGC book. I know Zach really wants to see. This is something uh, I think he wants for his personal collection, depending on the grade. Partially. Yeah. Yes, yes. I partially want it. But so you want to give him some backstory on how he got it? Okay, so we... If you, all right, so there's a comic shop north of us. It's called Docking Bay 92. Go in there. We're search, searching through books, trying to find good books and we found a couple newer stuff it's so cool and then i decided to ask hey do you have any more expensive books in the back it's like well yeah we haven't put them out yet i was like yeah mind if i see them uh sure 
And I'm going through it, and there was a lot of good books. There was FF48, FF49, books I should have bought, because he was, had them priced very reasonably, actually. Yeah, we should And there, yeah. there was a couple other really big books in there, too. Mm -hmm. But the one book that stuck out to me was A Green Lantern Number 7, right? And he had a price of 40 bucks. And if you guys know, you guys are already tripping out, if you know. But if you don't know, that's the first appearance of Sinestro. First appearance of Sinestro for 40 bucks. I'm like, there has to be something wrong with the book. The book so, was rough, though, too. The, the, the guy was like, it's rough. No no detached cover. No, uh, I don't complete. think it was. It wasn't missing it. Yeah, it wasn't missing any pages, but it was a little rough. We looked through it. It looked, it looked complete. So the only thing we were worrying about, really, was restoration. Unless, for some reason, we couldn't count the pages. Uh, yeah, I don't think we counted the pages. We should have counted. Remember well, maybe, the pages. I thought I did, but okay, maybe I didn't. $40, but, I don't think anyways, we are going to lose. Forty dollars. I estimated that book at the time to be like three zero two five two five three zero, which would yeah. make it raw about uh, two hundred three hundred dollars. So already we're getting bar bargain if it's not qualified or restored. So now I don't know what it could be. So we said two five three zero. Yeah, and okay. well, we got it pressed and clean though, and then sent in. So let's see. So we're going with uh, this one. Looking at the back, yeah. it looks back looks good. It's tan, super tan, but. All right, so we're saying 3-0. A little bit of water damage. Looks we're like. saying 3-0? Um, yeah, I, I'd i say that. 3-0, right. 2.5, 3-0. Hoping higher, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. It's a cool book. See that cover. Mm -hmm. That cover action there. Oh, man, oh that, cool that, that cover is so cool. Yeah. You got some x-ray vision right there. <laughs> All right. Big reveal time. All right. I just look like she's smiling a little bit. <laughs> she's like, "What is it? 3 0? 3 0. Nice. Okay. 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 We're that's we're not bad at grading books. <laughs> that was pre press. Uh, so yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's awesome, and it's it's blue label. Yeah, blue so label. yeah, it presents well. There's chipping like I, I hear on the outside. I remember that was on there when we got it, but and uh, the guy that complete guy that pressed it for us is Impressive Comics. I'll link his stuff down below. Uh, read his stuff thoroughly because he has actually has a waiting list. So yeah. if you want to send it to not some bad guy, guys, not bad. Yeah, he cleaned it really well. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Definitely doesn't look exactly like what we said. It no, was. it's flat as heck. Yeah, that's amazing. It's flat. All right, guys, that's going to round out the show for you today. Hopefully, you guys made it all the way to the end to see us open up one CGC book we got back. But as usual, guys, if you like the show, love the show, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave us a comment like you always do. We love to hear from you guys in this community because this is like the best community in the world. Best people uh, are comic book people most of the time. They're all good people. Mm. All right. And uh, anything else to add? Uh, yeah, sure. How you do that is, yeah, share it to your friends, your family, people that you like comics, you know, this and that. You know, have a couple of beers, watch a couple of our shows. Like, subscribe, and share it to someone else. And we're going to build this whole community. And then we're going to get unlimited amount of luck. And unlimited amount of gains. So many gains are just pumping out of your bloodstreams. Like bah, 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 bah. And that's how you become rich in comics. And wisdom. And wisdom. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys. Until we see you next time. Stay safe and remember. Get those gains! <laughs>